Welcome back to Giga Boys. I'm your host, Eli Halpern. And I'm Mike Eaton. And we got two fucking awesome guests today. We got Dean Stanfield over here. And Maverick McWilliams over there. Hello, how are you? Hooray. Yay. We had to start because we were just riffing off the top. (laughs) And we just kept wasting all this gold on nobody. Oh, man. It was just for our own enjoyment. Which is, that's okay, too. It's so great to have you guys on the pod. Uh, Oh, thanks for having us, man. Oh, yeah. uh, So we... uh, we were hanging out at Sagebrush the other night, mm-hmm. and we were like, all right, let's record on Friday, and you guys were like, well, we got to go drop off a race car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, yeah then we gotta, and then we're going to go kill hogs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, man. wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are just like a walking, talking stereotype. Yeah. And I love it. Your name's fucking Maverick. My name from birth is Maverick. That's yeah. That's crazy. It's Christian nuts. Name. Was it's... your father the Marlboro Man? No. Yeah, no. No. <laughs> I don't know who he is. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 if you find him, please tell me. Uh, <laughs> No, actually, my dad's name is Brett, and I was named after like an old Western okay. Maverick, and his yeah. main character's name is Brett Maverick. So, oh wow, yeah, man, most, that's awesome. Most people are like, "Where's Goose?" I'm like, "He fucking died, dude." <laughs> Stop bringing it up, you know? Man, hell yeah, I was named. My after mom got the my Bible. name. Oh shit, the Bible, Eli. Oh yeah, I guess yeah, it's the Book of Eli. The whole I book. Agree. You got the whole book, man. Nice. <laughs> most people know this, but my legal name is Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bible, Bible Halpern. Eli. <laughs> <laughs> Bible Halpern. Come to the stage. <laughs> okay, oh, how'd you man. get your name, Dean? Uh, my mom was upset with my dad. I was an uh-huh. O baby in college. Uh-huh. And so my mom was pissed off at my dad for some reason because he's probably being a degenerate. Mm-hmm. And so she named me after his best friend. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. Yeah. That's, that's good. Are you talking about your real dad? Is that the one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, your real dad. Which what is, are you talking about? Yeah, that's what that's that. that like you know, your mom cheated on your joke. dad with his best friend. Dude, that's yeah, how that's you know the, you're going to be so successful sad. if your inception starts with spite. Yeah, like, oh, I think spite yeah. is the best motivator. Well, it started with a barn party. I think. <laughs> 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 It's literally a barn How party else could the they story of up Dean out. Allen Stanfield start? Dude, exactly. it's, a, it's a saga, dude. We're right oh, now. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Uh, so how many country songs are you in? So uh, 27. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Total to count. Fucking love There it. might be more being written right now. <laughs> dude, uh, one of my favorite stories with you is uh, right after I had moved back to Austin from L.A., we'd hung out a few times, and then you had me on Barrels and Amps. Dude, I tell this story to all of my redneck friends to this day Dude, it was, it was one of my favorite it things. was incredible so dean has me up to his show up in georgetown and i go on stage and i'm supposed to be doing i think 15 like he gave me like a feature spot so i'm all excited i'm getting into my material and i had just gotten like two months prior arrested and charged with a felony for a weed pen oh man so i'm telling the story on stage and i'm talking about how the cop when he's arresting me keeps saying it shouldn't be a crime and i'm like yeah man i'm on your side and then I just, as an aside, not even really part of the joke, just went like, and you know, fuck the police. Just, <laughs> yeah. just like, you know, like, I, don't, I don't care. And a lady in the back room, the back of the room stands up and goes, you go back to L.A. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they chased him out of there with pitchforks. Yeah, and, and I was like, guys, chill out. Like, I'm just like, I, I don't hate all of them. It's just like the ones that are arresting me, like, fuck off. <laughs> we're all doing drugs here. And a dude in the front row goes, you shut the fuck up. To be like, fair, the L.A. cops are worse than Texas cops. Yeah, because oh, yeah. there's more of them. Or maybe it's uh, just because we're white. It's also small-town yeah. Texas cops are the worst. Like, big-city yeah. Texas cops are, like, just dudes, but small-town Texas cops are like, hey, man, are you the dude that tore my ACL? And you're like, yeah. no, man, it wasn't me, dude. It wasn't me, man. <laughs> I thought you were going pro. <laughs> I, I was rooting for you, man. Go Bulldogs. Yeah. Like, uh-uh, we're the tornadoes, motherfucker. You're like, oh, shit. Dude. <laughs> He's like, what's this bo- boarded fetus in your truck? Like, that's not mine, man. Like, tell it to the cops, motherfucker. Hold it for a friend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you for holding it for me, though. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. You're, you're a welcome. very you're good welcome. friend. Yeah, you got to get it out of my truck. It's starting to stink. Anyway. Yeah. Um, but they, they chased me out so of town. Though, right? and, and then Dean, uh, the next time I saw him, he was like, you know, what's crazy is like, I don't know when Redneck started liking cops. And now he's got like five minutes of amazing material about it. Hell yeah, man. I, that was so, um, yeah, it was weird getting back up on that stage because it was like the crowd was just fucking really <laughs> angry. Yeah, they yeah. Were. And I got to go back up there. We still have more, we still have like more, four more, com- like maybe, no, two more comics after. after oh, yeah. Like, and so I had to get back up there and I was like, you know, like, all right, calm down, calm down. The fat man's out of the building. All right, <laughs> yeah. Nobody's stabbing anybody. Sit the fuck back down. <laughs> And so I was like, what do I say to get the crowd back? I was like, wait, you know what? Hold on a minute. When the fuck did we start liking cops? 
Like our favorite sport is NASCAR. <laughs> right. Yeah, running away from the cops. That's dude. it. <laughs> They've never liked us not one day, and then now all of a sudden, ooh, rednecks get behind cops. No, no, no. The true ones don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a great bit and a great yeah. point. Oh man, it is yeah. a great point. It's true too, man. My dad, my dad's a huge redneck too, and he was a firefighter, dude. And the whole, mm-hmm. all grown up, he's like, "Fucking cops, man." I'm like, "What? What do you have?" He's like. They're lazy. I'm like, they're lazy. You just slept at work today, Dad. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> Firefighters are awesome, though. Yeah, he's great. He's a, they're I've had, really awesome. I've had the a fire department fighter in New Mexico. What is, yeah, I've had the fire department call on me a number of times. He just at the sun like I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> he's just got a hose in his guy for the Lord. He'd be like Jimmy, your shift's over. But like, uh-uh, I'm doing this for Barbara. <laughs> Dude, they're so dumb over there. Dude, what the fuck, man? We talked about this. No, not no, no, on no, no. here. Okay. All right. No, no, no. Anyway, <laughs> son of a bitch. Anyway, I had the fire department called on my house on three separate occasions because you're so hot because <laughs> hey. uh, because i was burning trash in my backyard because okay my that's... recycling bin was not large enough to store it all that's pretty reasonable so every time they would come and they would apologize for being there yeah and then shake my hand after yeah so i'm thinking about just making like 15 sandwiches starting another fire and be like since you guys had to come out of here <laughs> yeah how about some snacks oh yeah man. oh man dude, dude that's the weirdest thing taking food so I, I built power lines for nine years <laughs> check this out i built power lines for nine years and then so there would be like storms and shit and so we'd be out there like working in the storm getting people's power back on being fucking heroes and people mm. would come out there and try to give me like chocolate chip cookies or pies yeah and there's like a general rule that you don't just take random food from people. Fucking, I guess. <laughs> dude, we what ate kind it of, all the time, dude. Yeah, we were out course. there fucking munching, and yeah. our boss showed up and he's like, to bring us Whataburger or something. Yeah. And there's like four half eaten pies on the seats, yeah. and subs are hanging out, laying out. We got yeah. a pitcher of some liquid that's just sitting on the back of the tailgate. Perfect. And he's like, where did you guys get all this food? <laughs> and we're like, oh, the nice lady next door. And he was like, I hope there's not roofies in it, dumbass. <laughs> so what? Who's yeah. got a roofie? What, I'm going to get great construction work. <laughs> And a nap, like, uh, yeah, dude. Dang, I wanted to do that anyways. Man, I should, I should have been a power line worker, man. The only thing they gave me at work was a fucking random drug test. Yeah. that's all they ever gave me, man. And it tasted terrible. Now, you you look like a white power line worker. Yeah, right. Uh, Jesus. Oh, dude, Got when it. you said you were like making power lines, but I couldn't get the image of you just with a bunch of snakes on a board waiting for lightning to hit it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making power lines, ma. Dude, <laughs> see, that's not I how it works get some at more all. Your weed, dude. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Dean's over there with a credit card rack and power lines. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude. Man, that's awesome. Powerline was the name of the singer in the Goofy movie. Was, was it? Yeah. <laughs> How do you know that? Ah, autism. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Broad spectrum. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's rad as hell. Oh, man. Dude, are you guys drinking these? Hell dude, yeah, yeah, dude. These hard are. seltzers. Hey, you know something else? We drank it with this, uh, and we put. Uh, we found these in the back room. <laughs> I'm scared so of kind of an in- energy multiplier. Yeah. Ooh. So it's like a it's like a Red Bull in a hard seltzer, I guess. So you yeah. you added to it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Oh. Which you guys got you made like a. Oh yeah. Yeah, dude. Hey, you want to dump one of those bad boys in there? No. Yeah, dude. Okay. That's cool. Cardo Max. This is gonna make me do workout. What's or can you? <laughs> no, you're good. What, what are the <laughs> ingredients workouts? in that? I don't know, man. Look. Magic. Heroin. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. <It's> natural, <laughs> artificial flavors. Citric mm. acid. Mm. Potassium citrate, purified right. water, circulose, sodium benzoate. That should be an so. That's al- sugar, and that's I basically a condensed Gatorade. Right. Yeah. yeah, that should be an, an Olympic event. Just getting rednecks to read fucking like Latin roots and shit like yeah. that. Don't, yeah. don't get this guy to read you anything. I'm we fucking dyslexic, dude. All right, and I'm from New Mexico. We went oh, to Barton yeah. Springs, and we went to go look at this uh, the salamander pit, and there uh-huh. was a brick. There was a thing where you got to like, what do you call that? A plaque. A plaque. You fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> So this is me explaining so how brick dumb words on it. But he sat there and he was like, "He got one of the word bricks. There's a tombstone. So, <laughs> this guy had so a metal anyway, tombstone. He sits there trying to read it, and he's like, "The salamander <laughs> is a prominent figure in this pool." And like, he was just speaking like that, and I was like, "Hey, listen, bro. hell yeah, just gotta read in your head. Just gotta read in your head, dude. God gave you a big dick. You don't need to know how to read, dude. You know what I mean? That's what my mom always told me. Stud." It's a fucking stud muffin, dude. He doesn't need to know how to fucking read. Oh, oh shit, yeah. dude. Anyway. Oh, you, so, just gotta, you just got to follow your finger. Yeah. Or, yeah. Your, or your giant dick. Either one, dude. Oh, so that'd be so one. cool if you just read with your dick as a Yeah, player? dude. Yeah, I, maybe. Who knows, man? <laughs> you should. You should start doing that. I don't know, you man. You trouble a lot more, I, I bet. Yeah, I do yeah. a lot of community service. Kids probably wouldn't like that. You know what I mean? I mean, reading at the libraries and Or shit. maybe they'll love it. You never I, know. I hope not. I fucking hope not, dude. <laughs> 
<laughs> See how it goes. Who's for ready it for a bedtime story? Not me. <laughs> Holy fuck. I thought we were on podcast. And this little piggy went to prison. <laughs> <laughs> and this little piggy was a snitch. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Maverick, we met when I was moving to L.A. Yeah, I met you like on the way to L.A. Yeah, you... I stopped in Santa Fe. Or Albuquerque. Albuquerque, that's yeah, what it yeah. was. There's yeah. only two st- cities in the whole fucking state. So. Taos? Mm, that's southern Colorado. That's turquoise as a city. It's that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, dude. That city is a white dreadlock. Like, yeah. that's all it is, dude. I've eaten at the peacock farm there. Fuck yeah, dude. Was, yeah. Did you eat peacock? No. Okay. No. The, but is peacock in Latin is parvus. But Can you eat peacocks over there? I don't know. They just had them walking around. It was, oh. it was just like a mediocre diner that celebrities stopped at, but... They're, while you're eating outside, there's just peacocks. Just doing a whole thing. Just peacocks. That feels annoying. But yeah, so I met you out there, and we were at yeah. uh, a was bar a... where the roof was so low that there was a bunch of holes cool. from pool cues. Yeah, and... dude, fuck. What was that? I can't remember what that place is called. But, but that, that was cool. Yeah, dude, it was, a, it was a cool place. There's like Albuquerque's... Everyone's like, dude, you come to Austin, girls are like, oh my God, I love a dive bar. Like, mm-hmm. let's go to dive bars. Like, dude, the dive bars I started drinking in... We're like, hey, dude, stay at your table. You're going to get fucking stabbed. Like, yeah. it was those dive bars, man. Yeah. And that was one of Dive bars. Yeah, those, yeah, dive bars, man. Check out my dive bar special. Hey, <laughs> no? All right. Uh, that would be great. That would be terrible. Just have like a only vulgar yeah, dive bar. Yeah, it's only vulgar. Yeah. You're only be... allowed to swear. <laughs> yeah. Dive bar is a Christmas movie. <laughs> oh, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You guys are giggly. I love it. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm the giggle boys? You're kidding. Oh, what? What? <laughs> Yeah, dude, and then yeah, then you went to L.A. and mm-hmm. you just you you did great out there, man. I followed your career and stuff, and I was like, this is awesome, dude. And then I haven't seen you in seven years, six years, something like that, until four. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, because I moved out there in 2018. Yeah, right. Okay, well, so four, seven, eight. Yeah, I'm New still- Mexico is also 50th in education. Yeah, 51st. First, 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 <laughs> first or last, baby. You know what I mean? First or last, dude. Uh, so, yeah, dude. And then I, then I ran, saw you again, and I was like, dude, it's yeah. so fucking... It's, I think it's really cool to see our careers, like, just kind of going from, like, we we're, like, open micers, and now we're doing kind of bigger stuff, you know? And yeah, awesome. you're crushing at Bricktown in Oklahoma yeah, City thanks, all the time. Man. I, yeah, Yeah, I appreciate that. It's a lot of fun, dude. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty wild. It's a lot of work, but, like, I mean, you guys get it. It's just... It's what it takes, and it's awesome, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. Shit's worth it. Hell what's yeah. Your, what's your game plan? Like, how do you... How do you level up in comedy? How do you level up in comedy? Um, I think it's about like, so I am doing like what I call the like, I don't know, it's like, let's, I don't know. So you, you stay in a scene and you do as well as you can in that scene for as long as you can. And then when you feel like there's nowhere for you to grow, you just find a bigger scene. And like some people go from like, hey, I came from Cincinnati to LA, which is a gigantic fucking jump, you know? Yeah. But I went from New Mexico where there's not a comedy club in the whole state to Oklahoma City where there's two comedy clubs in one city and another one in Tulsa. And then I'll stay there for a few years. And then I think my next jump is to like Austin or Denver or somewhere like that. I don't think I would really work out in LA or New York, you know? So, but like, I think either here or Denver. I think they would love you in New York because they've never seen like a real live person named Maverick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the closest they have is the naked cowboy. Yeah, or it's just like a hipster who like changed his name to Maverick. You yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like Maverick, like it's, yeah. It's, it's Maverick. It's that's Maverick. You'd definitely be the only guy that could like fix upholstery or change a tire. It's funny you say fix upholstery, dude. I do leather work for a living. That's, it's really good. It's funny, dude. You yeah. made me a gimp mask. I love it. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I got to make that hole bigger, by the way. Let's yeah. talk about that officer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Dude, when I first started doing it, a guy hit me up and was like, hey, because like I make stuff for like dudes who like rodeo and stuff like that, right? And uh, he was like, hey, do you, can you make a harness? And I was like, fuck yeah, dude. Is it for like a mule or a horse or, or and what kind of horse, you know? And Would he was, you call my wife? Yeah, right. And uh, he was like, uh, yeah, it's not. I was like, oh, is it for like a dog or something? He's like, eh, it's for a person. And I was like, <laughs> you send me a video. You can have it for free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's cool, man. Was it like slavery harness or sexual? It was like a sexual oh, harness. Okay, yeah. I don't know why you said slavery harness, but it's a sexual yeah. harness. Oh, it's Oklahoma. He's putting a person in a harness. That's a good point. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Well, well, oh, hey, could you also make me a nice whip handle? A <laughs> slave <laughs> can't work if they're in a harness. They need free range of motion. I guess. You're not using yours right. I know. <laughs> I think that's dangerous territory we're stepping into, guys. <laughs> I like how the two dudes that look like have liberal arts degrees are like, slavery, and me and Dean are like, brother, don't Dude, touch hey, it. We've don't been, touch yeah, it. Yeah, we've been sitting here for a while. Are we allowed to talk liberal about Liberal arts degree. <laughs> I just keep checking in with my liberal friends. I'm yeah. like, are we allowed to say this again? Damn it. Yeah, I'm just like, hey, No, girl. we're not allowed to say any of the stuff we say. Cool, man. It's oh, fun. Yeah. It's fun. It's yeah. funner to so say So then how do we say. not get 
How do we not get canceled? <laughs> well, don't get so, famous. <laughs> yeah, we're not famous yet. Yeah. Well, that's the thing though. Like, I, someone pointed this out. Uh, it's someone that's like comedy adjacent. They work in like a management company, but it's a friend of mine, uh, and he posted that the biggest problem he has with cancel culture is all of these just third-rate shitty comedians acting like they're getting canceled as a clout chase. Oh, like, yeah. Is it like, oh, man, cancel culture's really keeping me down. I only got three views on my last stand-up clip. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, that's how that works. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, good job, man. How many millions yeah. of dollars did you lose? Probably none, right? Yeah. yeah. See, but I didn't think about it for a little while because, uh, because I quit my job to do stand-up, mm -hmm. and I had money set aside, so I was like, I can say whatever I want now, and I was free. Mm -hmm. Whereas before, I had to kind of like watch what I said in case HR got a cold of it. You know? Sure. And I couldn't tell any stories about work or anything mm. because I'm still doing them. Yeah. And uh, I was still you know, employed there. And then I was on my own. I was like, fuck it. I'll tell all these stories. I'll say anything. Yeah. And then now I've got a cool job driving race cars. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to see if I, uh, if I'm, if I uh, don't change uh, my material. Yeah. Again. Because it sucks like it's now I can get canceled. Or not I can not that I can get canceled, but I can get fired for some of the shit I say. Yeah. You know, again. It's the first time that's happened in a couple of years, so I'm interested to see what it's also good to have those kind of challenges as far as writing goes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because now now uh, you I have to, to write to say what shit. I say. But also I'm a race car driver. What can they expect? Yeah. Like, like if they come at me with anything, they're like, Yeah, he's a guy with a mullet that drives race cars. Correct. I mean, as long as you don't what say you how much you love gonna drinking say? and driving. I yeah, think you're good. It's good. I yeah, don't tell it's anybody. Fun, how much you dude. Love it. Yeah, it's a great time. I mean, it's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. It's so much fun. <laughs> it is, man. It's great. It is. But I you don't... shouldn't do it while you're doing professional work. You know? Yeah. I don't want to do it same... when you're like, here's the I joke. don't think you should do it ever. No, no, no. You should do it at like the deer okay. list. The okay. deer list is great because you're just on a, you're on a dirt road. Oh, yeah. You're only going to go like 25 miles an hour. Yeah. Like, and you're using a shitty car like my Escape. I bought yeah. a $2,000 Escape. And I've crashed it into so many trees at the deal. That sounds like so much yeah. fun. And yeah. you just hit them, and you're not going that fast. And you yeah. just kind of back up. If you need to replace a radiator, there's junkyards full of radiators. Go grab another radiator, throw it on that bad boy, and let's go yeah. hit another tree. Dude, Man, I wish I had that kind of, like, brain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That kind of, my kind of brain? No, yeah. you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> I don't think. I, like, think? just where I could look at a giant metal death box and be like, I can break this and then fix whatever's wrong. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Well, see, here's the thing. You don't, you don't even necessarily have to know how to fix it. You just got to have a friend that knows how to fix it. Oh, yeah, dude. And then you bring him a 12-pack of beer and you're like, hey, man, can you help me fix this radiator? Yeah. And he fixes the radiator. Or I'll give you one better. You say, hey, man, will you help me fix my radiator? And you bring a 12-pack of beer, but you just end up holding a fucking light for him. You know what I mean? And while he does the work, and you're like, oh, yeah, sprocket. Yeah, That's man, great, I get man. you. Yeah, 10-millimeter, yeah, which brings us to our gift of, that we brought you guys. We, got, we brought, brought you guys, guys a gift. gift. We so brought sad. you a, 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 a possum and a peanut. Fantastic, now, yeah. That's, wow. This is the cutest damn thing you've ever seen. So this is, his name is Perry. Okay, Perry. Perry the possum Named and after peanut. our hero, uh, Richard Perry. Yes, yeah, exactly what we thought. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is he and crippled? So, is he one of the crippled ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is now? Or is that... I mean, no, we've got Abbott. We've got that pirate Crenshaw. Oh, yeah. We've got yeah. fucking the Terminator in the wheelchair. <laughs> the pirate. So anyway, we can send it across oh, the yeah. desk. Oh, Look, shit. You can oh, send yeah. it to each other. Look at that. I think it's, it's going to... Hey, brother. Oh, damn. oh yeah, <laughs> damn it. You got a little roadblock there. You just got me a woman. Yeah, and that possum's drunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> didn't oh, yeah, I didn't assume the possum's gender. Hey. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on, little so close, dude. dude. Get that off the table. We're not gonna do shit for the rest of the time. We're just no. gonna be like, look at it, look at it go. Got all the way to the end. Look at that, man. I want to know. So That's this is why am I so amused by this? <laughs> yeah, this, this is a great this gift. is the second toy that I've seen uh, of late that is super fascinating to me because it's made for like a very specific market. It is. I can't imagine there are too many people in Austin proper that'd be like, you know what? I need to get my kid as a toy, as a, po <laughs> a possum and a peanut. Hey, that's if they'd raise their kids right, we'd have, this, that's the problem with kids these days is not playing with possums and peanuts, okay? Well, so the other toy that I saw was a uh, minch on a bench. A minch on a bench? Yeah, and it's just a very stereotypical dressed Jewish man yeah. with like one of those... What are the like the? It's not a do rag. It's like a Jew rag, but they, they wear it over their neck. <laughs> yeah. Can so he's a Atalus. Atalus. Thank yeah. you. See, that's why we've got one. But uh, it's, it's cool to say that because he's a minch. He's a good dude. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So the minch on a bench. So you squeeze his hand, and he goes, "Oi, <laughs> I can't do this for you today." Like it's <laughs> it's just like super Jewy stuff from the minch on a bench. Uh, and it's, that sounds so racist. It's incredible. Yeah. Oh, that's so oh great. man, that does sound like a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. I, I wanted to buy it, but it was like twenty eight dollars. Yeah. Like, no. That's. Sometimes jokes aren't worth it, you know? Yeah, what I mean? yeah, 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 hundred percent. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, that's. I love, but I love the possum and a peanut. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, me, so and, cool. me and Dean were just kind of ha- hanging out before the show, and we were like, you know, this? like hell yeah, you don't go somewhere without a gift, man. Give him yeah. that possum on a peanut. Where were you that this was available? Uh, where were we, Dean? <laughs> uh, we were across the street at a... Uh, an or- uh, Nope, that just says Turkish exports. They're yeah. just to go get some, uh, it was a smoke shop across yeah. the street. That's what it was. Since me and Dean have been hanging out, we've been like yeah. chain smoking cigarettes. Yeah. It's been awful. And we were like, yeah, it's been fucking terrible. And he was like, dude, we By should way, go can get we a bag. smoke in here? No. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I didn't want to. Yeah. <laughs> so they they, they sell okay. this at a smoke shop? Yeah, dude, they sell whatever you want there. That dude. makes more sense. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, a bunch yeah. of high people. Like, <laughs> 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 pizza. Exactly, man. Got a fancy, I got a nice uh, Zippo lighter. Yeah. Oh, good. I figured you would have like some way of making fire. On your own, like oh, in, yeah, like in your like belt buckle. Way, yeah, like I yeah. feel like this patch of skin's actually sandpaper, and you just kind of start a fire. Like Dude, that. I'm waiting for like a. Uh, That's actually uh, a good idea. What was his la- name? Jordan Carden did a uh, Jordan redneck. Card? John Carden. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. That's so John a, Carden. I like his name being Jordan Carden better. So John, Jordan Carden. John Carden uh-huh. uh, is a comic around here, and he had, he wanted to do a redneck off. Uh huh. Where he was like, uh, we're going to prove who's more redneck. Mm-hmm. And I was like, awesome. And then we get there on the day, and he was like, uh, so what jokes did you write so we can like, you know, go back and forth? I was like, dude, I was just going to go out there and like, I brought a squirrel. <laughs> 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 I was just going to have him do his set. And then go out there and just like skin the squirrel <laughs> and then bring a little grill, stick it on a spit, and then start spitting it across and be like, so anyway. <laughs> and then John's John just Carden come out lives and in bang a suburb. His sister yeah. on stage. <laughs> yeah, see if he can one out me. Yeah, yeah. What, is he, what do you got? How oh, are you going to prove him? Yeah, you, you, you won that. Yeah. That's so funny. That was so like. Wait, it, did that happen? No, 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 no. So, uh, so what ended up happening is I just went up there and explained like. Um, why I was more like I drive race cars. I have a mullet. He lives in the suburbs, um, and then he was like, "Well, I grew up in a trailer park." I was like, well, "We all grew up in trailer parks, dude." Yeah. We, uh, no, you got out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you guys not grow up in trailer parks? Sure didn't. <laughs> sure didn't. Dude, sure. that was the sad part of my childhood was going to school. So my dad faked an address so I can go to like the fancier school. Yeah. One town over in prison for that. Yeah. Oh shit. Sorry, Daddy. No, that's so, right. Statue of limitations <laughs> is over. You're out of school. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. So we got past it. Um, and so uh, he didn't want me going to Florence because that's where all the morons went. Okay. And so he's like, I'm going to fake an address so you can go to Georgetown. Uh-huh. And so we went to, uh, when I went to Georgetown, I got there and all those kids had like way different lives than I did. Yeah. They were like, you know, in the, you know, apartments and, you know, fancy houses and stuff. And yeah. uh, I grew up in the trailer park, so I was like, there was just certain things They'd be like, uh, oh, we're ordering pizza for this birthday party. I'm like, what the fuck? Ordering, like, people living like kings <laughs> like, over Is here. it Thanksgiving wow. ordering a pizza? What the yeah. hell, man? That's yeah. interesting perspective to have. Yeah. You know, especially early in life. And I think that led you to be a better person. Yeah. And they didn't let the, this was one big deal. Uh, the school that I went to before would give us off like two days as like a random holiday at the mm-hmm. beginning of hunting season. Oh. And so That's when nice. I, it was really nice. It was nice yeah. for the kids. And so, um, when I went to the fancier school, I just didn't show up on those two days. Yeah. And then I got back to school, and they were, like, calling my dad, like, where the fuck is he? And he was like, uh, you know, like, he's not here, he's not here. He was like, yeah, he's with me. And they were like, it's hunting season. Yeah. And they were like, you can't just take them whenever you want to. Like, you got to have an excuse to do it. It's like, hunting oh. season. Like, it's hunting <laughs> like, what, season. what do you mean? I'm that's that's taking my boys. Yeah. yeah. They're like, you got to tell us. And he's like, y'all don't give the kids off for hunting season? <laughs> Like well, what do you do when one gets pregnant? You still make it come? <laughs> <laughs> and when they turn 14, they don't come back to the farm to help every day. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, that uh, is funny. They should have maternity leave in small Texas high schools. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> they, <laughs> I was on farm did crew. Did y'all not do this? Okay, so we had a separate school for the pregnant girls. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, we did not do that. <laughs> I love this shit. Wait, so what no, would happen we, there is we was one. It Richarte, and if all the girls called the it girl, what? They called it Richarte. It's a it's an, a separate school outside of Georgetown. When the girls got pregnant, that's where they went. Did y'all know? How have did that? they get the name Richarte? I don't know. I think it was the guy that started the organization or something. <laughs> he was just getting high school girls pregnant. <laughs> yeah, and it was like you can't keep them in the flock. We gotta. Yeah. He's hoping they miscarriage and just Richard them out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wow. Oh, yeah, we live very funny, different dude. lives. Yeah, yeah, it's too funny. My school had Chick-fil-A. Oh, yeah? In yeah. your school? In school. Wow. Oh, Jesus. We had... Uh, we didn't even have this a one that Chick-fil-A in 45 miles. Like, the so, closest one was Austin. When we would go in yeah. for lunch, uh, this was the greatest part. So they had the, like, accounts hooked up to your parents' bank account. Yeah. So my dad would just fill my shit up with as much money as I needed because <laughs> he was rich when I was in high school. <laughs> 
And then I would go in and they'd have like, you know, naked, the juices. Yeah. yeah. They have like 40 flavors of those in a big cooler. Whoa. And then they'd have a fountain. And that's like fresh pressed like, juice, right? Yeah. And then they have like fountain sodas. So you could get any of the sodas. And then have whatever the school lunch was that day, which was always some terrible bullshit. And then they would have like Chick fil A wraps. I'm sure it's Chick-fil-A like gourmet. Yeah, I'm sure it's great, man. It's not the no, fucking just... ham and cheese on a hobo's foot that they gave us. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it was They gross. separated <clears throat> us. They yeah. said, uh, there's the, and it kind of, and it was great for me. It sucked for a lot of kids. But if you were poor enough, you just got to eat for free every day. Yeah. So if your parents could pay for stuff, then you had to do, uh, then you had to pay for the lunch system. And so when I was in Florence, my dad would have to give me $5 a day uh-huh. to go eat. Yeah. Because we were rich over That's there. That's where bullying started. Yeah. You take, yeah, take their, lunch their lunch money. money yeah. yeah. And so he would Shit give rules. me... <laughs> we were too rich to live in Florence, but when we moved to Georgetown, apparently his like you know yearly uh, annual earnings or whatever were so low that they were like, you can have anything on the menu. <laughs> 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 and I was like, okay. And my dad kept sending me with $5. Oh. And so I would buy, the, I would buy snuff with that money. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. That is, dude, that is the one thing. I, My this dad's going to be pissed when he hears that. He's never, he, I got away with it the entire time. I'm sure he's not going to be mad about you going to buy snuff. 20 years later, this you is, know what I mean? He's going to be proud of you. I don't even know my dad. Dude. I, think, <laughs> I don't know dad, yeah. You two may be the only people that can appreciate how ridiculous this is. So in high school, uh, I'm uh, like a preppy kid in like a rich suburb of Fort Worth called South Lake. Okay. okay. I play football. I wear Affliction jeans and Ed Hardy shirts. Dude, you got laid, didn't I you? Tried, yeah, yeah, but I Fuck drove yeah. a Dodge Ram Daytona edition. Oh. The bright orange one with the big black spoiler on the back with Dang. the ground effects and the scoop in the hood. And then I had uh, like a turbocharger put into it. It had the Borla exhaust. It was loud as hell. So that was what I drive and look like. But also, my stepmom owned an, Andalu- an Andalusian and a Missouri Fox Trotter, and then a little Shetland pony. Oh so my God. I would have to take the spoiler off my truck, drive to Mastermaid Seed and Feed, pick up 20 bales of hay, <laughs> get them loaded into the back of my truck, and then go and carry them out to our property. So there'd just be me in my affliction, bejeweled ass jeans carrying oh, yeah. hay. And just somewhere in there, I got obsessed with Copenhagen. So I'd be in Ed Hardy with these jeweled ass hats with a fucking horseshoe of Copenhagen extra long cut. Yeah, dude. Scary and hey. Nightmare. It's like, what is that? Is that a unicorn? (laughs) (laughs) I don't get it. Copenhagen. I don't know, know, dude. Growing up in New Mexico, like, I've worked construction my whole life. So, Mm -hmm. like, all the dudes that like were Hispanic or that on the crew, yeah, affliction jeans, all of them fucking yeah. love. Dudes are fucking finishing concrete in like eighty dollar affliction jeans, and I'm like, dude, you I, I've never met anyone it, bro. who wear, Dang, wears wears that. That is a good person. <clears throat> yeah, no, these dudes are hardworking motherfuckers. Also, do you want some Copenhagen? I don't. Okay, I, I got I've some. Been, you need some. I was when I was in boarding school. I was on farm crew, so I, I'd wake up at four a.m. every day, and I'd, I'd feed these horses and cows and water plants and stuff. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. So I did farm stuff for like four months. That's so funny. Dude, I remember when I rodeoed in college, I like... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay. Just okay. rodeoed as a verb is fucking awesome. This is our first time just talking about cowboy stuff with real cowboys. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I'm, I don't know. I don't know if I call myself a Bitch, real cowboy. Bitch, you just said you rodeoed. <laughs> There's a di- anyway, I'm not, I don't want to get into that debate, but me and Dean both rodeoed. <laughs> And uh, I rodeoed in high school and college. Uh-huh. My, uh, my, my rodeo team were state champions in high school. God damn. Yeah, yeah. So it's like an accumulative points type thing. Sure. And then uh, me and my buddy had the idea of like, he's like, we're both dumb as shit, both me and him. He's now a horse trainer in Dallas. Uh-huh. Fucking good horse trainer, dude. And uh, he was like, dude, there's a, it was like, I think it was like three months to graduation in high school. And he comes into me in the ag shop one day and he goes, man, we can go walk onto a rodeo team in Southern New Mexico right now. And I'm like, no shit, dude. And then state finals was in like in a town over, so we went to go talk to the coach, and he's like, "Yeah, come on in," you know. So we rode when we rode in high school, and like we, so we went to college, and dude, these dudes, it's like, it's like, do you ever play t ball? Yeah. Imagine going from like t ball to fucking going to an MLB batting practice. Yeah. Unfucking real, dude. And then there are you, really levels like that in rodeo. Oh, oh yeah, dude. it's fucking nuts. So like I, I mean, I grew up around it, and I've watched a decent amount of it. Sure, I've been to. Probably twenty. Oh, cool. And uh, yeah, like my sister was into it for a little while, and my stepmom was. She grew up on a farm in right. Illinois, so she's she was redneck as hell. So like I've watched it, and I've seen you know the barrel racing. I get how you could get faster at that kind of shit. Sure, yeah. Mm-hmm. But the, the when I think of rodeo, I just think of bull riding. That's yeah. So that's me and him were having a conversation about this going to the shows last night about how like Tough Heedman started the PBR mm-hmm. and it went away from the PRCA and how the PRCA almost 
Stop. Okay, so anyway. Um, this is what I told him. I was like, there's no way we're going to explain. The FCC yeah, yeah. <laughs> won't let me be. That's right. Yeah. Shut me down. Okay. Yeah. So, Are we wrapping? <laughs> yeah. Have you ever heard of the NFR, like the, like the National Finals Rodeo? Like it's in Vegas every year? I haven't. Jesus yeah, Christ. Crazy. I'm so sorry. Uh, this is my experience. This is why I was excited to bring Maverick here. I got it. Because there's nobody else like, like, like us in the scene. Like we're the only no, redneck not. comedian. So like there's only so much I can like get along with people, you know, or like so many, like I miss out on so much cause you guys make references and I'm like, I don't know family guy, you know, and then <laughs> you guys are laughing about something and I just laugh I wanna, with I want to get you back by explaining Honestly. NFTs. Oh yeah, dude. You mean non fungible NFR versus NFT? You mean oh. non fungible tokens? I'm already on it, dog. No, I'm just kidding. I have no idea what the fuck they he are. Does not. I'd have a hipster explain it to me. It's fucked up. Uh, They're good anyway. At that. Yeah. Oh, anyway, so the easiest way I explain rodeo, like professional rodeo to somebody, is uh-huh. like the PGA. Uh-huh. So, like, you right now uh-huh. could try to walk onto the PGA. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, you yeah. can go to an open, and then you just, if you just do well enough, you eventually go, you know, get on the tour and stuff like that, yeah, yeah. right? That's exactly how rodeo is. Yeah. Any one of us right now could go buy a, a PRCA, Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association, uh-huh. uh, rookie card. Okay. To fill that card, you have to win so much money in a PRCA rodeo. Okay. And once that happens, over a, over, over a year's over course. a year's course. Okay. And, you have and to how re- do you win the money? You have to come in top, you know, certain what, amount. What's in- the what's the actual thing you do? Oh, I you ride I was a bull? I was a steer wrestler. He was a bull rider. I was a bull rider. So, so steer wrestling is the bronc. smaller ones where you try and put their head on the ground. Yeah, yeah. So you and like you smaller. So like you fall off of a, yeah. So you like fall off of a horse okay. onto a steer, which is a neutered bull. Okay. So you. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, so you fall onto a steer and then off of like a running horse, you're going like 30 miles an hour. Whoa! Yeah, it's fucking quick, dude. So my dad was a was a professional PRCA cowboy, right? <laughs> Whoa! And uh, so, and then you try to then you try to come around, and once all four feet off the ground, your time stops. Oh, but don't you have to tie his feet in a no, circle? No, so that's calf roving. Oh, so, I've seen that one too. So whenever this happens, uh, then your time stops. And dudes, like your average time at the NFR, which is like the Super Bowl of rodeo, sure. is if you're in 3.5 to 3.8, you're doing pretty well, like 3.5 seconds. That's so fast. Fast as shit, dude. To get yeah. a bull on the, a steer on the ground? Oh, it's so smooth. Do it's they just kick up. it real hard or No, something? dude, you just use your body weight and you like fucking pop it with your hip and then that, when his ass comes out, you reach under and hook his nose and then you just fall back and then it just flips his legs up in the air. Like a, like a arm bar. Yeah, almost like a hip toss. Dude, we can do. Yeah. We, I can. I can set it up where Eli goes out and does it. Dude, yeah. Dude, you should call it Moo Jitsu. Whoa, Whoa dude. that's a great. That's fantastic. A great yes, that's a great sketch. Fuck yeah, Moo That sounds terrifying. The only. The only joke I have about oh, it right now I'll, is. I'll, I'll, I'll. We'll make sure you're. You're fine. Yeah. Oh, dude. Right. If an idiot like me can do it, and you can do shoot dogging, which is like <laughs> getting the. You're big <laughs> enough. You can fall I'm on top sorry. of them. Dude, if I can, if yeah. I can shoot throw a steer. Dogging. So shoot dogging is where you just take the horse out of the equation, and you just you're in a like a bucking shoot. Yeah. Uh-huh. And you just hold on to their neck, and the steer's just like, what the fuck's happening? And then you nod your head, and they open the buck and shoot, and the steer's like, oh, fuck, and runs. <laughs> you have to wait. On. You have to run like 10 feet with them. There's uh-huh. a line in the dirt. Yeah. And after that 10 feet, that's when you go, and then you can just wow. hip them. And it's, it's, a, it's very I feel like, like I would get killed. No, you're good, dude. No, dude. Their horns aren't sharpened. I've like, I dislocated a shoulder one time doing it, but that's about it. Yeah. You know, you might get a concussion. My dad got well, stabbed one time. It, it is crazy. like a... It is a 600-pound animal rolling around. Can you imagine the steer just yeah. in the Some parking danger. lot with a knife in its mouth? Like, <laughs> why'd you embarrass part? me? <laughs> <laughs> My wife was watching. <laughs> like, trying to rekindle our marriage. We you neutered this. me again! <laughs> What's the most money you guys ever won? Uh, shit, man. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't a great steer wrestler. Like, I had... Like, I didn't... I, I, doing it, I did it the very cheap way. Like... Mm-hmm. My parents didn't have a lot of money for it. I wanted to do it. And I just kind of like comedy just like fucking made it work. You know what I mean? But uh, I pulled like a two, three hundred dollar check one time in high school. Like, That's cool. You? And oh, and so, up, oh, I'm so sorry. Go ahead. Good. Oh, up until a couple years ago, uh, rodeo was the only NCAA sport that you could like make money on, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. Like, yeah. So because you have to like pay an entry fee. Yeah. And then you can get like, dude, and it's crazy. There's like kids that are like 19 or 20. Who will like so a rodeo is usually a couple days long, right? Uh-huh. A couple things called a perf, the performance, and uh-huh. then the slack, which is like extra people that entered, you know? Yeah. So they'll the enter. Losers. Yeah, the fucking nerds, you yeah. know? The slack. So yeah, the slack. A bunch of extra rope. Exactly. That's it. Just the extra. So like dudes will enter the slack on like Friday uh-huh. or Thursday or Friday or whatever. Go hit a rodeo in the perf Friday night. Uh-huh. Come back to the other rodeo. Hit uh, a per- hit the same slack the next day and they were like and then go hit another rodeo and just like 
When I was in college, there was kids that were hitting like three or four rodeos and winning like six, seven thousand. So it's dollars. just like comedy. It, it is. is. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. dude. It's so similar. We talked about this yeah. earlier. Where uh, I think it was it was cool that we went through that because it kind of taught us how to like live on the road and uh-huh. be okay with sleeping in the back of a truck, be poor, yeah. And, yeah. and being poor, being yeah. real poor. So that's what. So an interesting perspective between well, Maverick. I gotta and say I. this before I forget it. Yeah. You kept saying Slack. I really want you to have a conversation with a tech bro. Yeah. From downtown Austin, and you guys both to talk about Slack. And him be talking about the Slack channel. And then you'd be like, yeah, I'm in the Slack. And they're like, yeah. what are you fucking talking about? Like, dude, I'm in the Slack in fucking that Florida this so weekend, much man. Dan got it, and the rest of you are... I have no idea what the I Slack is. Good. <laughs> that point, That's yeah. why it would be perfect. That's why it would be perfect. Right. That was for the fans online. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so there's two different routes you can go if you're trying to do rodeo. You can go uh, you know, after high school. Um, you can go to college. Uh-huh. And so basically, that pays all of your bills. They take care of you. Oh, yeah. If um, you get a scholarship. If you get a scholarship. Which I didn't. I was fucking a walk-on. Yeah, but you're going to college anyway. And Barely. it's really just something to, something to do while you're there. Um, and, uh, and then after that, you can try to get picked up by the PBR and get, go pro. Yeah. So uh, you can do that, uh-huh. or you can just go to, like, dingy ranch rodeos <laughs> and try to save up enough money to go oh. be in the PRCA. Yeah. And so you're like living straight. So it's like going, um, basically it's like go, grow, going pro early. Yeah. But like you said, you can be a pro. That's the cool part about like, um, I don't know, the PRCA is you can just hop right the fuck on in. Yeah. Have you ever watched Love After Lockup? Love no. After Lockup? What is that? All right. It's a terrible show, but the premise of it is these people, uh, one person will be on the outside, one person will be in prison. Okay. And they'll meet on a prisoner dating site. Okay. And then they, they got those? Then they fall in love. Yeah. What's and the then, scripted? And then after it, no, those are real. You can, no, I you, talked to her. What? It was scripted. No, I'm not talking about Jana. She, she knew him before. Yeah, I know. But th- I, well, th- that part is scripted. But what I'm talking, there was a guy in it who uh, his job was being a rodeo clown. Yeah, funny man. Oh, but yeah. so he was showing that like he would go and show up at these places and be like, hey, man, I just need 50 bucks. Like I can, I sure. can, I can funny man tonight or whatever. Yeah. And he would say that stuff and they'd be like, I told you, you can't be around here. And they'd be yelling at each other. And he was in bumfuck New Mexico, like Hodge, New Mexico. Hobbs? Or something. Oh, Hobbs, That's yeah. That's where I went to college, baby. What no, up? Shit. NMJC, what's in the house, dude? And all right, anyway, uh, that was so stupid. But they would, yeah, that was so <laughs> fucking stupid. The, dude, do they have internet there? Uh, no, no. So no one's even going to no. see it. No, no, no. What no, a waste. Right. They got oil if you want some oil. They got a fuckload of oil. A lot of meth. Dude. Oh, meth too. Good shit. Rock got, cores. Got to uh, mix them up. Aliens. You ever Chill go to Midland? High. Fuck yeah, dude. Midland, dude. I feel like you two should start a comedy club in Midland, Texas. Oh, oh yeah. I just cool. fucking make bank. Because yeah. it's all these dudes that moved out there to be oil engineers. It's a oh, fucking dude. boom town. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking about getting, um, just getting an RV uh-huh. and then going to those, all those old field camps where I know all my buddies are at. Fuck uh-huh. yeah, And then get them to set up like Halliburton, have us uh, at, like <laughs> stop at every single oil site. If anybody knows anybody, dude, I'll, we'll fucking- Do you know where Halliburton's at? We'll of? pull tabs and have the rig loaded up in two days. Oklahoma, dude. motherfucker. What do you need oh, to make Jesus. that happen? Huh? What do you need to make that happen? An RV? Uh, I've got an RV. Yeah. <laughs> of course you do. And I've got a dually that'll pull it anywhere so across just time? the state of Texas. No, I've, I mean, so basically what we need to do is get-, get uh, with somebody from all the old field camps, like all the way through Kennedy and uh, down to South Texas. There's like Halliburton rigs and uh, Shell has rigs. Sure, Chevron, all those Chevron, com- yeah. all those companies. And so just oh, say like, hey, Slumberjay? we'll entertain Slumberjay's good. all of yeah. your, um, we'll entertain all of the uh, old field workers that are here. You know, they're stressed out. Let's make them laugh. Yeah, yeah. You know, give us a thousand dollars and we'll show up here. Yeah. Oh, and charge I'll bring more than up, that. They got fucking money in the. Bank, we'll figure dude. it out. But that's, that's why a- I'm terrible at negotiating. I know a guy because I'm like, hey, I want to do this fun thing. Yeah. You can pay me or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, no, 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 but we need make to, your we fucking need to make money, money, King. For it, oh, you know? dude. Yeah. But yeah. that is a genius idea because the old field workers, especially, get guys that like I know what they're gonna laugh at. Yeah, I'm, for sure. You know, like, oh I'm yeah, fucking dude, just bring up a mannequin, the, the woman. No, Adam have them. Lucky. I'm just not. Adam have Lucky. them pay you yeah. in money and gas. Perfect. Oh, right. dude, fresh oil. Yeah, dude. yeah. And then you could just have <laughs> like a big tap. That's divine, dude. Did that bit where I just back up my dually and just I've got a giant tank. I'm like, all right, boys, fill it up. Yeah. <laughs> and then everybody's like, Dean, this is what we're getting paid in. I'm like, dude, this is gonna go for gold back in Austin. Okay? <laughs> I got a buddy that can sell it straight out of his house. <laughs> dude, this is like great. that always sunny episode where yeah. they're filling the trash cans with gas. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Wild card, motherfucker. <laughs> Just jumps out the <laughs> trash I cut the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, dude. Oh, what a great time to be Dude, alive. I thought about that. And we can also do, like, pipeline stuff. Like, we can uh-huh. go to, like, the pipeline workers, and he yeah. can go to the oil field. Like, 
Yeah, like all my buddies are like welders and, and, dude, and shit like that. Gas and all it. his buddies are fucking, you know. Dude, that's awesome. Gas dude, you should do a show for barrel. underwater welders. Dude. <laughs> you just all down there in scuba? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I'm just like, get me down there, dude. Oh, come on. I do it. I yeah. do it. Dude, those guys make like 160 grand a year. But yeah, and they die what? so often. But that's the thing, yeah. So like cool. So it's a win-win. <laughs> yeah. I know, dude. Oh, bummer. I'm dead. Oh, I don't yeah. have to pay taxes anymore. <laughs> oh, I got fuck the bends. Up, I got to stay in an iron lung for three months. What the fuck ever, dude? I would dude. love yeah. to have an iron lung. Oh, it's sick, you dude. know how tired I am of having to breathe? Oh, Wait, sucks. you can get the bends from oil stuff? Might from underwater right. welding, yeah. Oh. yeah. It's just coming up from oh, underwater. underwater. It's like scuba yeah. diving, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, I've been welding for like five years, and uh -huh. And like every time I meet somebody, they're like, you know underwater weld? I'm like, fuck no, I don't underwater weld, man. And they're like, do you know somebody? I was like, I could probably I think it's learn, figure it out. You know, everyone's had a friend that did meth. Yeah, and that friend was like, "What's the easiest career for me to get into and make bank?" Oh, dude. And yeah. They would see underwater welding, and so that you would always just have one dude that like you'd all been doing too much coke and be like, "Hey, man, I'm I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start underwater welding." Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be fucking rich, dude. We're gonna go on vacation all the time. Like, and then you never see that guy again. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna move to Alaska and be a fish packer. Oh Jesus yeah, dude. Christ. What is a fish packer? Well, you take the fish. It's and a you gay skin or fudge packer. What it sounds. Yeah. Like. Is that just a lesbian? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fish is less gay. Yeah. Yeah, because it smells like vagina. Unfortunately, clean up after yourselves, women. Um, you, you, right. you <laughs> this episode the bones. brought to you by Summer's Eve. <laughs> Summer's Eve. dot com slash Giggle Boys. Get ten percent off your next douche. Uh, <laughs> your next Summer's douche. Eve. How the fuck do you not smell that too? <laughs> <laughs> You guys are going to give me fucking, uh, hey, dude, I, Summer's Eve, I'll do this, but you fucking owe me one. You know I mean? <laughs> Summer's Eve, I'm glad I've got COVID. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, dude, that's fucking great. Yeah, because someone told me you make like 20 to 50 bucks an hour, and I was like, uh -huh. all right, I'll just sacrifice months of my life for a bunch of money. Fuck Turns yeah. out it was like seven bucks an hour, and it was still in Alaska. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I didn't do it. Dude, oh. have you talked to John Rice at all? No. You know him? So he... No. He's a kind of, he moved here from Seattle, but before that, he lived in Alaska. Cool. Uh, but he was talking about the, uh, uh, do you know what Stink Flipper is? <laughs> Are you talking nope. about my ex-girlfriend like that again? To... <laughs> I'll fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a delicacy there, but it's like, a, it's like that shit they do in Norway where they, like Ludoviskin, where they put fish underground and let it ferment. Oh, Ugh. yeah, it that nasty really shit. But this is the same thing, but it's like a seal flipper, and they let oh. it ferment in the ice. And it's like a delicacy yeah. for people that don't have society. <laughs> it's, fucking, it's the gr stink here's flipper. They is. call it stink flipper. Listen, Jesus. here's what that is. This is my theory on that. Now, places, uh, places like that where like tourists come in and they're like, uh, "Oh, what's a special thing about this place?" Yeah, I think that just started by somebody like, "I don't know." <laughs> uh, we eat uh, the stinky flipper that's laying <laughs> on the ground, <laughs> and then they did it. They're like, <laughs> wild tasting." Dude, we'll have to have him on some time to tell us stories, but like he talked about working at Domino's there. Yeah. And when they got a Domino's in addition to they their got pizza a Domino's? Hut, everybody was like, gourmet. We got two pizzas. Oh, oh yeah. Because that's the so thing, too, about your classy. accent is that like yeah. they have that everywhere. Oh, yeah. Like I, I grew up, you know, where I, I mean, I have no accent, even though I'm from Texas. Yeah. Like, I'm arguably yeah. the most Texan person in the room. Fuck yeah. My great grandfather made the blue bonnet the state flower. Like Mike, we were part of the original. I'm gonna have to have you take it easy right now. No, I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm I get have it. To take it but, real easy. But do you even know the do, what? What's the pledge of Texas? Do you know the, uh, the Texas pledge? Fuck, I used to, but uh, I don't honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance God's. to the Texas, one state, under indivisible. Yeah, that's so stupid, dude. Oh, the man. pledge of allegiance is the creepiest thing on the what planet. What if I didn't know? That it? is so North Korean. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, doing well, pledges. We were our own, we were our own uh, nation. nation. This yeah. is so close to this. <laughs> 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 You're yeah. telling and me we did it every oh, morning, fuck. dude. We did it every fuck. morning. Did y'all not have to do it every morning? No, we, we did. did. We did, okay. and we get in yeah. trouble. We get in trouble if we didn't do it. Oh, sometimes, yeah, dude. sometimes I'd take a knee. Yeah, not for police brutality or anything, but just anti-establishment. We had kids Damn, that would do that too. There'd always be like one fucking emo kid. Yeah. And, and there would be a moment of silence and he'd be like, ha la 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what happened when you did that in uh, Florence? They hit you 9 with a rod. 9 oh. 11. Oh, yeah. Dude. <laughs> they hit you with a rod. Yeah. I'm Man. sure. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh. Yeah, dude. Our, uh, what, the other thing that was always fun about my high school is uh, so we were crazy good at football. Yeah. Cool. And it was so bizarre because it was just a rich white school. Yeah. So it was like, why are these kids so good at football? Yeah. It doesn't have any NFL sense. dads. We would go and we would play. Well, we did have what, uh, Nate Newton's son. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Trey Newton. He's yeah, a fucking yeah. He went here to UT and they stopped playing football because he was getting concussions. Oh, that'll happen. But, I Got mean, like, so we were crushing, but we would play, uh, like, 
Odessa Permian. Oh, yeah. Fuck and yeah. And we would play, like, the Friday Night Lights schools. Sure, yeah. And seeing how different our lives were. Like, there'd be the parking lot, and there'd be their side of the parking lot with all trucks, and then our side of the parking lot with all Escalades. <laughs> yeah, It's <laughs> like, culture battle, dude. It's crazy, dude. It's fucking nuts. But oh, yeah. I had friends that... I may have told this story on here before, but there was a redneck high school out by Texas Motor Speedway called Northwest. Oh, yeah. Uh, and so we would have kind of like an enmity with them where it was like, fuck you guys. You're, sure, the, yeah. you're the poor rednecks. And they're like, fuck you, city slickers. You yeah. Know? So we had an outdoor Tale mall. Tale was old as time. Uh, when I was 15, I was working as a busboy at this like, uh, Italian place in the outdoor mall. And I'm going, 15, 16, I'm taking out the trash. And as I'm taking out the trash, I see a big red pickup drive by with the Northwest sticker on the back. Mm -hmm. And they're yelling out the window, fuck South Lake, just yeah. stirring trouble, just being rowdy. Yeah. Uh, and I just yelled back, you know, fuck poor West. You know, like, uh, yeah, got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Roasted. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, they yeah. stop. Oh, shit. And I'm like, oh, that's oh, not good. <laughs> and they all start running at me. Yeah. And I'm like, this is really not good. And, you know, I'm, like, I'm a football You're, player. I'm yeah, stocky yeah. at the time. Like, I'm ready. So the first dude comes up. And I just throw, like, the biggest, just most telegraphed haymaker. But he's running at me. I connect. It's, to this day, the most satisfying punch oh, I've ever landed. Just fuck fucking yeah, rock this dude. And that's, like, the, the adrenaline rush yeah. you get when that oh, happens. Yeah, and I'm so, uh, just, I remember feeling cloud nine and then nothing because I'm unconscious. <laughs> and I'm waking oh, no. up several hours later to my boss. Hours? Yeah. It had to, at least two hours. Oh, Holy fuck. Shit. But, so, at least two hours because oh. my boss, the manager, this guy Juan Carlo, yeah. comes out. And he's fucking kicking me. And he's like, hey, man, wake up. They fucking piss on you. <laughs> <laughs> and I like come to and I'm like, what? And he's like, they fucking piss on you, man. Are you sleeping? Why are you sleeping? Like, oh, my God. What is happening? Oh. And he's like, they fucking knocked you out, man. Come on. So he like helps me up and we go inside. And I'm like stumbling up the stairs like I'm drunk. And we get into the security closet and he shows me the video. So like the second after I connect that punch, a baseball bat hits me in the top of the head. Holy oh, fuck. And I just Jesus fucking my. slump over. And then the guy that's on the ground that I beat up is like coming to and they're helping him. And then one of the dudes just starts peeing on me. Oh, And then shit. two of the other dudes join in and they all pee on me. <laughs> <laughs> and they get in their truck and they leave. So I'm just laying there fucking... <laughs> just pissed on JC's like man the fucking tables are all dirty where's my fucking bus boy yeah and then he looks on the camera and sees me sleeping he's like this piece of shit sleeping <laughs> so he wanted to see how long I've been taking a fucking nap and then he sees me get donked by a baseball bat and so he goes out to get me but he doesn't call anyone else. Oh, yeah. He's not like, you should go to the hospital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you were unconscious for a long time. That's, like, super bad for you. <laughs> None of that. Just like, come on, man. The fucking tables are dirty. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in there, like, concussed. Like, sorry, sorry for your spaghetti. <laughs> He's like, what do I pay you for, pussy? Yeah. Like, <laughs> exactly, yeah. dude. Oh, man. I fucking yeah. love you, Mike. Yeah, that was, that that was, was great. the funniest thing. Dude. You ever have any oh, gun my. violence encounters? Oh, yeah. I, almost, I pulled a gun on somebody once. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Say more things. Uh, so I was in Albuquerque. Uh huh. And uh, big Second Amendment guy, right? Uh -huh. I got a gun on my arm and shit. Always, yeah. I always have a gun with me. Not in here. It's in my truck. Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, That's fine. So, oh, I got a story. <laughs> uh, in New Mexico, you can, have a, you can have a pistol at 19 if somebody gifts it to you. So. <laughs> Yeah, hey, it's little little laws loopholes. like that. So dude. you I can think have that's it if Texas, it's a gift. Though. Isn't that Texas too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. like, yeah, so kind of same. But we can like, you can like open carry and shit. Like even back then and shit. So like, that's awesome. Which isn't which isn't smart. Which isn't yeah. Don't, <laughs> that's so funny. I, I don't want to get into that. But yeah. But so one time I got snowed in, and uh, we had to stay at my friend's, uh, my sister's friend's parents' house, and he was the chief of police of my hometown, Moriarty, New Mexico, and uh, I was like nineteen. And me and him were talking about guns and shit. I was like, man, I really like a Glock 23. And he goes, oh, I got one in here. I was like, no shit. I was like, he's like, yeah. And I was like, man, I would fucking, I was like, I really want to get, get one I haven't these. seen the first 22 Glocks. Will I get it? It's, <laughs> it's, yeah, it, it explains itself. <laughs> okay. You son of a bitch. No. <laughs> so a Glock 23 is a 40 caliber, like, compact Glock, right? Whoa. So, um, so I was like, man, I'd love to get one of these, dude. And he goes, take it. And I'm like, really? He goes, yeah, pay me what you can when you can. I'll take 400 for it. I was like. I was like, I can't, I can't do that. He goes, no, 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 take it. I got, I got more hidden. I don't even really use it. Like, you take it. You pay me what you can when you can. And I paid it off to him. And so that was my first pistol. And I kept it in my truck all the time. I still got it. It's on my nightstand. It's got a light on it now. Pretty sick. Anyway, so I was going to see my sister. And she lived in these apartments in Albuquerque. And if you don't know about Albuquerque, it's a fucking rough town. Yeah. Like, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. I've seen Breaking Bad. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot like that. Uh, so... 
like, and like, I was pretty fresh out of high school. I had a friend who got like pistol whipped like two weeks after moving to Albuquerque and shit. Nice. So I was living there and I was about to turn, I was about to turn right. You know, I had a, I was going right and I had a, I had the arrow, but these guy and his girlfriend started walking across the street uh-huh. and like, I almost hit him. I was like coming in and going, I almost hit him and I could stop and like I honk at him. Yeah. And this dude's like, what's up, dude? Like throwing his hands up. I was like, dude, get the fuck out of the way. Like I almost fucking hit you and your girlfriend, you know? Yeah. And he like flips me off, dude. I'm like, fuck you, motherfucker, you know? And he go, and he like takes his girlfriend, and, like pushes her behind him. And I like take off my seatbelt and I'm like, oh, I don't want to fight this dude, but I guess it's gonna happen. And then he takes his hand and puts it like under his shirt. Uh-huh. And I'm like, that means he's got a gun. Yeah, like that correct. in my mind. So I like I grab my pistol, like cock it, and just fucking set it on the dashboard. Uh-huh. And I'm like, your move, homie. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about this dodge. I'll go through the windshield on this thing. You know what <laughs> I mean? Sure. And he's like, and he looks at it, he's like, nods his head, dude, and like flips me off again and fucking walks away. And I take it, like unload it, put it back in the center console. And then I just like, <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, I was so fucking scared after Adrenaline. Like, I was like, holy fuck, dude. And I like get there. My sister's like, what happened? I was like, I almost just shot this dude. And I was, she was like, Carlos? Yeah, fuck that dude, man. But no, she didn't say that. But yeah. Do you know how crazy it is that that reminds me of... Yeah, I was about to say, Eli went on a date that that story sounds very similar to. Oh, no shit? What happened? Yeah, I I went on a date, like, the other night. This is insane. And, um... (laughs) This is is absolutely the craziest thing I've ever heard. Wait, this is, like, the other night, like, recently happened? Yeah, a couple days ago. Two days ago. So... Um, I I usually have a gun in my car as well. But, um, we go to this restaurant, uh, Loro, Mm -hmm. delicious. And, uh, they're like, yeah, it's an hour wait. And I turned to the girl to make a joke about how I might as, like, let's just commit suicide instead of waiting. But what comes <laughs> out of my would. mouth is, I have a gun in my car. Oh, Jesus. And then I just look around and I'm like, wait, <laughs> I, I didn't mean it like that. And then I just went, ah, and I turned around and sprinted like to that. my car. <laughs> so I just threatened to shoot up a restaurant on accident. Holy and, uh, fuck. And then... He's so then, nervous, right? he sprints to the car. Where the gun is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The worst Dude, thing ever. I'm going to shoot this place up. Arti- <laughs> <laughs> the hottest autistic person I've ever met. Dude, yeah, man. It gets better. So. Oh, and then we go to the next place. No, 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 no. You skipped over the whole fact that the girl that watches all this happen, yeah. they're, they're, the lady says, oh, it'll be an hour wait. Eli goes to make a joke and goes, I have a gun in my car. Freaks out, sprints to the car, <laughs> and then she walks to follow him. She stays on this date. Oh, yeah. And she's like, was that your cardio for the day? And I was like, I, I don't find that I was that like, bitch, you need to get in the car. We're going to Wendy's. Okay? Dude, <laughs> how do these bitches not get murdered by the dozen? What are you talking? A guy just said he had a gun and sprinted to the or, car and you followed him? <laughs> because they love serial killers. Hey, some girls are some girls. But then we go to, either. and then we go to, uh, we're having a conversation bitch. about, uh, schizophrenia and i'm saying like what if schizophrenic people like actually see what's real and then she's like no they don't they're completely delusional they just make up nonsense in their head my grandma's schizophrenic and i was like well what does she believe and she's like just crazy shit i'm like like what and she's like well she thinks everyone's plotting against her and that (laughs) reptiles are demonic and i'm like i think i'm schizophrenic (laughs) (laughs) I'm with your grandma. Dude. Oh man, oh, man. Dude. if that's how Eli found right out, he's like, "Hey, he went to the doctor. Was like, hey man, I th- I think you might need to test me for schizophrenia.'" And your doctor's like, "We've been telling you <laughs> <laughs> for years." It's like dude. Eli, this is a he's tire like, shop. Oh, this is like, what ah, you fuck. Did. <laughs> I tried to get prescribed ketamine once, and yeah. they were asking me all kinds of questions to make sure that I wasn't insane. Mm-hmm. But I kind of just wanted to see what would happen if I told the truth. And they're like, "Do you th- do you believe in uh, like aliens or something?" Or and I'm like, "Yeah, well, I mean, I I think it's more plausible that aliens." <laughs> Genetically modified humans, then like God just came down as a human being, and yeah. and she's like, oh, well, we can't uh, <laughs> we can't advise that you get ketamine therapy. And I was like, why not? What did I say? And she's like, well, you think that the aliens genetically modified humans? And I'm like, what? So if I said I believe in Jesus, you would have been like, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, and then she's like, you make a good point, but uh, yeah, sorry. sorry. That's it even says crazier. Here, no lizard people. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you can't believe in the lizard people. Dude, I went in a cave. should have a psyche time. val on awesome. him. Oh the yeah, podcast. That'd be hilarious. You went in a K hole. Yeah, at a hospital one time. They gave me oh, they gave nice. me ketamine. I had an asthma attack at a rodeo. Uh, Almost died. What fucking Albuquerque bullshit is that? I was like, I was he's having an asthma attack. I better give him horse 50th drugs. Fiftieth in education. No, so fiftieth it was in I, education. <laughs> it's so, the dumbest state. <laughs> I have, so this is okay. You guys are gonna think this is so fucking stupid, dude. I have yeah, asthma yeah. and uh-huh. allergies, uh-huh. and I'm allergic to horses, cows, hay, animals, and shit like that. Oh, me I too. got a good story. Yeah, I got yeah, a good story. Yeah, yeah. I got a good story. Here is it the one? Wait. Wait. Yeah. Pause. Yeah. So. Yeah, this is how dumb it is. God. Yeah, yeah. In his infinite, <laughs> in his infinite wisdom, Love you, was dog. like, I'm going to make this beautiful baby boy Maverick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Fuck yeah. I'm, I'm going to make this perfect little cowboy. Maverick McWilliams. Handsome. He sounds like a country music star. Sure. We'll pop yep. him out. Yeah, yeah. He's going he's gonna to wrestle steers. Fuck yeah. He's going to hand tool leather. Yeah. And we're going to make him allergic to everything he loves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Hell yeah. He was, he was snuggling with Hey, you got to have a challenge dog. or life's not worth living. Fuck yeah, he, it is, man. As soon as he got here, he was snuggling with my dog on the couch. Mm-hmm. And then he started like, like itching like really bad and then like scratching himself, scratching himself. And then, uh, and then he, was like, uh, he was like, oh, hey, pup, 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 come back. Pup hopped back in his lap. And he was petting her. He was petting her. And then I saw like a rash on his face. And I was like, hey, man, do you think you might be allergic to dogs? And he was like, oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> just take Zyrtec, man. I was like, what do you yeah, do? Yeah, that's I'm what allergic. I do. I'm allergic. Your lap. I'm allergic to my up. own dog. Yeah, yeah. He swelled up like the Zyrtec damn. daily. Oh, dude, I just fucking pop. I girl. pop that shit like it's fucking no, edible. Yeah, walk into the kitchen. Snorting Flonase. Yeah, like, And he yeah, pops dude. two Allegra D 24 hours. Yeah. And I was like, hey, I think you're only supposed to take one. He was like, I take four a day. Yeah, dude, I'm fucking, I'm hardcore about it. But like, so when I was in, so I don't have exercise-induced asthma. I have allergy-induced asthma. Exercise-induced asthma was just what they started saying for all the fat kids like me that got out of breath real fast. Oh, I do have exercise-induced asthma. Because I, yeah, yeah. they told me I had exercise-induced asthma and gave me a nebulizer. <laughs> yeah. And then I just played football more, and then it went away. Exactly. Like when <laughs> I went like, to, oh, weird. Like, when I went to boot camp, like, it didn't bother me at all because I was just working out like fuck. You know what yeah. I mean? So, but, uh, so I went, so I was having an, an asthma attack. I was sleeping in the back of a horse trailer. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. Okay, sorry. So, like I said, when I was in high school, man, and I would go to rodeos, my parents wouldn't come with me. Everybody's parents would go with him, but my mom, I like had a single mom. Uh-huh. She had to work, and I was like, hey, I got to go to Clovis for a rodeo. And she's like, hey. My dad never came to my rodeo events. He <laughs> did it, motherfucker. No, I'm yeah, just kidding. Never came to any of mine. <laughs> so, just like, I'm just strikes. used to like, I'm used to people saying like, they never came to my soccer games. Like, yeah. They never came to see me wrestle bulls. Dude, yeah, it's fucking, my dad did watch me throw one, st- try to, I, I missed him, but it was a bad day. Anyway, so, <laughs> so I go. That's on, why he didn't <laughs> stick around. He's yeah. like, oh, look at this. Douchebag ass son can't dude, even throw a steer on Another the funny sport, like both of my He's like sis- unprocessed trauma, never mind. Dude, both of my sisters were collegiate softball players. One of my you middle have two lesbian sisters? Yeah, yeah. I have two gay sisters. They're awesome, dude. Uh Hell yeah. the middle one uh, was named the best Maverickisha? Maverickisha, oh. dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the middle one was named like the best pitcher in the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. And like my dad coached both of them. And then like the second my middle sister graduated from high school he like moved the fuck away mm-hmm. and i was still in high school and i was like damn i need to get better at sports dude yeah. stick around but anyway so i i go to this rodeo and i'm starting to have like problems breathing and the first night it's in the saddle the there's a saddle bronc you know the, in the saddle bronc riding i'm uh i'm helping like take the saddles off the horses and uh-huh. it's an indoor arena so all that shit's just flowing around and i start getting like real short of breath and i'm like hitting my inhaler every five fucking minutes and i'm stripping off these saddles right and uh, that night, I don't sleep because I'm like, if I go to sleep, I'm going to fucking die. Yeah. So I'm, I'm having like terrible fucking like chest problems. And I'm like, yeah. shit, dude. And I'm like popping, you know, shit. And I'm like, it's, it's not working. Yeah. I'm having a fucking bad asthma attack. Yeah. Correct. So the next, the next day, I got to go run my steer. So I'm like, well, fuck. All right. So I'm on. I'm, so also, I had to borrow a horse because I didn't have a horse. So I borrowed this other steer wrestler's horse. Good dude. Lorenzo Lara. Good fucking guy. So I borrowed Lorenzo's horse. Did you borrow his oil? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. So I'm fucking like I'm on. So I'm I'm getting ready to go. Like it's in the steer wrestling. I think I'm like fifth or sixth up. Uh-huh. They're on first or second, and I'm like, <gasps> like barely fucking breathing. Yeah. If you don't know what an asthma attack's like, it's like breathing through a coffee stir straw. And uh, so I ride over to my buddy Cody, the horse, the horse trainer, and I'm like, hey, go find the ambulance. And he's like, what? He's like, go. I was like, go find the fucking ambulance. I'm having an asthma attack. It's really bad. As fast as you can. And he fucking. <laughs> And fucking goes, dude. Yeah. And, I, and I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, okay. And I make, and I'm a, stu- I'm so fucking prideful, dude. Uh-huh. I was like, uh, I was like, okay, if they get here before I run my steer, I'll just won't run my steer. But if they don't, I gotta run this fucking steer. So I'm like waiting, waiting, waiting. Next to cowboy up, Maverick McWilliams, and I'm like, all right, here we go. So like, I fucking ride in the box, back in the box, and I look over, and the paramedics are on the bleachers, like waiting for me. And I'm like, oh fuck. And I start thinking, I'm like, if I run this fucking steer. I'm going to die. Yeah. Like, it's that fucking bad. I'm like, yeah. So I fucking nod, go, run by him. Like, I don't even get off. It's the only steer I didn't go after in, college, in high school. I go by him, run back up the arena, just hop off my horse, like, kick him away, and I get on. And they're, like, checking me. They're like, you're, this is, you're, this is bad. You need to go to the hospital right the fuck now. And I was like, holy shit. And I was like, where's, I was like, where's the ambulance? Like, the ambulance is on the other side of the, of the arena. If we take you there, and then take you to the hospital, you might fucking die. 
And then these two moms, like my mom wasn't there. I was fucking by myself in Clovis, New Mexico. So my yeah. mom, so these two, like my like rodeo moms uh -huh. were like, our car's right out this door. Hop in this car and go. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I hop in this car and I'm fucking, I'm good. You driving? No, no. They like take oh, me okay, to the car. Right. Yeah. I was the like, way you said that, I was like, you drove yourself? Yeah. I was just like, I was like, <laughs> fuck it. I was like, oh, this is a problem with cowboys. This is a problem with, this is a problem with us. We're like, oh, it's fucking tough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did yeah. it. And then, yeah, you no, that's why COVID killed so many. Oh, yeah, dude. No, it didn't kill any of them. <laughs> no, I never no, lost dude. a single family member. Because we take fucking <laughs> ivermectin like right. logical people, dude. No, yeah, we yeah. took ivermectin smartly. Ivermectin yeah. and banamine, baby. Hell yeah. I've been snorting horse I guess we shouldn't say that. No, we shouldn't yeah, say, say that. You can say whatever the fuck you want. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah it doesn't matter. So, uh, that's how I feel. You're in God's country. Fuck yeah. I mean, we're not in Oklahoma, but anyway. Yeah. God forgot about that country a long time ago. What are you, Oklahoma? Where's your legal weed and gambling? Oh, okay. And we can have a portion. Dude, your weed is dog Hey, dude, you don't talk shit about our weed i don't even smoke it but it's prideful and again you know why god made oklahoma flat why? so you can see a better place to live i thought yeah. dude why does oklahoma look like directions to leave you know <laughs> go right, that dude. way man hey, all the good shit's there. over there you know why it's they put oklahoma above dirt. texas on the map to give fucking texas texans something to look up to all right there it is <laughs> there's no nutrition yeah, that's, that's why, why you're so bad at education because you don't look up to look north hey. <laughs> Oklahoma is not in the sky, dude. Hey, I may not talk no good, but I know what love is, okay? Dude, it's been wild hanging out with him all weekend. <laughs> Dude, so I fucking dude, so your rodeo moms stories, are driving you so to the hospital for an asthma attack you have by being allergic to the only thing you love to do. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so the <laughs> state is actively trying to kill its own people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's you're two just really poorly committing suicide. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just do. like I'm like because I'm Catholic because I can't do it, but I'm like, oh no, horses. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? So I'm in this. So oh I'm no, in, God. <laughs> so yeah, I was like, oh God, please don't take me. Yeah. So I'm in this car and they're like they're driving me to the ambulance and they're driving me to the hospital in Clovis, New Mexico. And like my head's out the window, and they're like trying to get me to breathe. And <laughs> they're I, using you like a windsock. Yeah, they're like, open your mouth, god Fill damn it. Up with air. <laughs> so, dude, I fucking, I fucking pass out. I fucking black out because for lack of oxygen in my brain, I fucking black out. Yeah. And then I get to the, I get to the, I get to the hospital, and I wake up, and I'm like, what the fuck? Where the fuck am I? And they're like, Maverick, you had a really bad asthma attack. You, you passed out from lack of oxygen. You've been out for like two or three hours your mom's on her way from Albuquerque. And I was like, oh, cool, cool. They're like, if you were, if you got here five minutes later, you'd be dead. Wow. And I was like, oh, I should have fucking ran that steer, dude. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so, this motherfucker's trying to ride himself into a goddamn it, west. Exactly, dude. So like, I was like, fuck. Trying to get a movie and I'm like, on this and like, thing. and dude, my family doesn't have like a lot of money. I'm like, fuck, dude, this is going to be so goddamn yeah, expensive. All the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, God damn, it's going to be expensive. And dude, this is kind of like, what kind of this in this story? You'll figure out what kind of dude my dad is, right? Uh -huh. So in this story, what do you think you're gonna talk the rest of this whole damn time? Tell us. It's it's. I gotta just give me. It's almost over. So this is how <laughs> this is how I went into a K hole. Did you die? I wish, dude. Yeah, dude. So I <laughs> also like I'm afraid of needles. Like I don't like getting IVs. Uh -huh. So oh my God. so they were they were telling me like Maverick, you gotta go. We gotta tend send you to Albuquerque. You, you we don't have the things for you here yeah, right there's a country hospital right yeah. we got a horse in the next room getting a vasectomy you know what i mean <laughs> and i'm like i'm like hell yeah dog give me one of them yeah. and so they're like we got to meta flight you to albuquerque if you drive you won't you won't make it and my, my dad's like how fast do i gotta go and i was like what he goes well that goddamn helicopter is expensive man i got a fucking cummins out there how fast do i need to go they're like <laughs> like sir he would die before he left the city limits and he's like I can make it. And my mom's like, Brett, we're not fucking doing this, all right? So they're like, hey, to go on the amp. Let the boy ride a helicopter. I know, man. Yeah. And I got but to ride a like, helicopter and a horse in the same day. That's fucking America right see, there, baby. Here's the, here's the problem with that is because your dad is sitting back like, God damn it. Do I get to go on a helicopter too? <laughs> yeah, no. Because I'm not son. paying for it. Yeah. I'm not paying for it unless I get to go as well. So. Did he? Huh? Did he get to go on? No. It, it See, ended that's up, the bullshit. They did just he take race? him. Huh? Did he race on the ground? <laughs> no, dude. He's a pussy. He didn't do it. That uh, was so cool. No, it ended up like my, like we had fucking Medicare, and they ended up paying for the whole thing. It was really, really cool. So, Thanks, but, Obama. But the, yeah, right? Thanks, Obama, for not letting <laughs> me die, dude. And my parents going into fucking poverty more. Uh, <laughs> so I get, I get on this fucking – so they're like, hey, but to go in the helicopter, we got to give you another IV. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, don't do that. And they're yeah. like, like, no, we got to give you an IV. And I'm like, 
don't fucking give me an IV. I don't, you already got one. You don't need fucking two. Just do a splitter off this one. <laughs> I think that's how medical works, right? And they're like, works no. for microphones. And so, dude, so like fucking, and I'm not like a tall dude, but I'm like, I'm not small either, right? So these motherfuckers are like trying to hold me down, and I'm like fucking like fighting nurses to not get a fucking IV. And then they just fucking hit me with ketamine. Yeah. And I just like, burr, burr, and I go into a fucking K hole, dude. And I'm just like, and I wake up, and I'm just like talking like, like fucking like hitting on nurses and shit. And I'm you know, like, I think I'm having a really bad asthma attack. Right <laughs> yeah, now. I right. Need you to drive me to the hospital. Oh man, and like <laughs> I just I mean, I wish the end of this story was better, dude. But yeah, I just fucking I Did went. Did you go into the K hole on the helicopter? No, dude. I went. Oh, ah, Jesus, no, dude. dude I went into the K hole and woke up on the fucking helicopter. Incredible. It was great. So like I was like, dude. So I was like, and then I fucking went to this K hole and I woke up and this lady's like. Like, sir, we're taking you to Albuquerque. I was like, fuck yeah. You single? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, you want to go to prom? You trying to join the Half Mile High Club? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, dude. But yeah, but it was, but it was a fucking good time, dude. I was like, hell, it was a cool fucking time, man. I loved it. That's amazing. You just said, I wish that the story ended cooler, and then you were like, but then the coolest thing of the story. Yeah. <laughs> and then I woke up you from lower the I was on a K hole, and I woke <laughs> yeah, up on a right? helicopter. I was oh like, man, what are you so smart maneuver. Zach Fox. <laughs> oh, <dude>. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Jesus, then my dude. dad grounded me for having asthma, and I was here. <laughs> <laughs> Now, let me show you how to tell a quick story. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right, yeah, yeah. Instead of a 30-minute story, I got my pinky chopped off. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget sometimes. Look at sometimes that. so do I. <laughs> and then I see him and it scares me. Anyway, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a horrible, gaunty, um, That's so cool. ghoulish looking finger that I got chopped off. Uh, I was working on an offshore oil rig. In, uh, in Brownsville, Texas, at the uh-huh. port, at the port of Brownsville. Yeah, you got to stop holding it out. I'm not going to be able to look at you nah. for the story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if I look just did it. that the entire time? They just zoom in on the terrible fucking... <laughs> yeah, dude. Just there. <laughs> yeah. I tell the story. Like, ever, don't break our cameras, you ever, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> you ever stick that in someone? So I do call it the French tickler. <laughs> <laughs> it's not worth anything. It, you can't feel it, but yeah. Um, I used to do this at college parties. I used to get them to take a candle and light it, and I'd be like, hey, I bet I can hold my finger in there longer than you can. And it's somebody be like, oh, fucking $5, yeah, dude. Five nerve dollars, damage, come baby. On. <laughs> hey, there's no nerves left in this thing. It got chopped off. <laughs> I just so that's like medium there. well at this point. I guess, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't do it anymore. They grow back. but uh, <laughs> They grow back. <laughs> they did grow back. But for a little while, I'd just stick it in there and be like, what? So you lost this bitch. on an offshore oil rig? Just heating up a little rig? snack. So what they would do is they'd bring the rig, uh, the offshore oil rigs in every like 10 years to get re-maintenanced. Right? Uh-huh. So I was part of the maintenance crew. I just graduated high school, and uh, I knew how to do, like, some work. Uh-huh. And so I got a job. It was, like, $18 an hour, and uh, I just lied That's a lot. Crazy. Yeah. And I was like, they're like, you know how to weld? I was like, yeah. Of course. Of course I do. Yeah. Do you know how to do this? How to that? Like, well, you do enough stuff on a farm that it's like, I've done stuff similar to that. Sure, you know? yeah. Yeah. And you, see, you seem confident, and then they give you a tool, and you know how to plug it in, and press a button and they're like all right it looks like you guess you know what you're doing yeah and they just threw me up there and so uh <laughs> that's why they have OSHA. <laughs> that's why they have OSHA. Yeah, yeah dude they didn't catch me though dog look so um so i go up there and i start working and normally what happens is the guys that are already working there they kind of fill you out and they're like all right well you might not know as much as you said you knew but that's fine i don't even you know they just start helping you mm-hmm. and um and then you just listen to them, and if you're a good listener, you know, mm-hmm. fucking figure it out. So you're a bad listener. <laughs> so by the- here's the story. <laughs> I, I, your little I, Gomer pile going on over there. <laughs> my job was to, uh, these, these rigs are sealed up because mm-hmm. it's salt water out there, so they need to stay sealed a lot. Yeah. And uh, because they're sealed, they need to be ventilated. Uh-huh. And so there's ventilation fans going all the way up the stairwells. My job was to take all of the, uh, the metal clamps uh, on the stairwell off uh-huh. and go uh, fiberglass them and then repaint them and, and then go reinstall them. Uh-huh. My partner's job was to go take all the fan covers off and uh, take them outside and clean them. Uh-huh. Right? And uh, his job was also to shut the fans off and lo- do a, a system called lockout tag out. Yeah. Which is if you have to do something that's... Uh, uh, dangerous. Dangerous. You take a lock, you kill the breaker, and then you lock the breaker, and you take the key. So you're the only one that can turn it back, start up, it back, start up. It back up. Oh, good. Well, he didn't do that, and so <laughs> 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 he cut the breaker so it's the, the room is dark. And so I grab my stuff, and um, he takes all the fans off and takes them all up there. And I'm climbing back up the stairs, and somebody was working on something. 
and uh, might have cut a breaker, and they looked up, they saw that one that was off and no lock on it, so they're like, ah, fuck it. I must have flipped it, and so they flipped it back on, turning those fans on that are silent, so I'm feeling up a dark fucking staircase. Oh, no! <laughs> and then my hand goes in one of them, and pow! And oh, like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fuck. And I drop my shit, and I lean back, and I go, fuck, dude. Oh, that's not good. And there's light coming from the doorway, so I can see a little bit. And so I look down, and it's like fucking spurting. And I was like, oh, shit. And oh. I look over, and I see the fan, and I'm like, okay. So obviously your hand's gone. And I looked back, and I was like, oh, it's just the pinky. Okay. All right, this might not, not be that bad. And I look down, and I see the pinky. And I'm like, okay. So I grab the pinky. Oh, <laughs> God. I grab the pinky. I put it in my hand. I walk up the stairs, and I look out. And this is a, you know, it's a rig, so it's way off the ground. Yeah. And so there's one elevator that goes down. Uh-huh. And I'm... Losing a lot of blood. And so <laughs> I yeah. go up and I look at somebody. I need help from somebody. And I've got my pinky in my hand. It's closed up. <laughs> and I think I've got it sealed off. And so I'm looking around. I'm looking around. I see a guy. And it's, it's, I see my foreman. And so I run over to him. I'm like, hey, man, I need to go to the hospital. He's like, what are you talking about? And I open my hand. And it's full of blood. It splashes to the ground. And my pinky's laying there. And I'm handing it to him. like, I need to go to the hospital. <laughs> And he throws up. He, goes, <laughs> <laughs> he just pukes right in front. I was like, you're not going to be any fucking help. And so I look around. I'm looking for a friend. And there's a guy named uh, Big John. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, was, it was great. He's yeah. giant guys. Uh, I assumed he'd I'm be looking small. over a seat. And this is Brownsville, Texas. So it's like there's like four white guys working on the rig. Yeah, it's the bottom you know? of Texas. Well, yeah, it's, and there's, so there's a lot of Hispanic workers. And they are in, shorter in stature. And so I look across. And I see Big John. I'm like, oh, shit, Big John. Uh, he can help me. And so I ran over to him. And I uh, held out my hand, and everybody just kind of, like, you know, split it apart. And right over Big John, I was like, hey, man, I cut my finger off. He goes, okay. And he picked me up, and he took me to the I elevator. knew he was going to pick you up. He picked me up. He I picked me up. He took me to the elevator. Said, it was Big John. <laughs> it was going to carry dude. you like a baby. Dude, it's great. Like, you can't write this shit. And so, uh, so we get down there. He gets to the elevator, and he's like, just hold out your hand. And so we cut, the, I mean, we cut to the front of the line. Yeah. Get on the elevator, get down there. He puts me in the golf cart. And yeah. they've already called 911 by now. Good. So, but they can't come into the port. Mm -hmm. They don't have, uh, since it's like, I don't know if it's international water things or the port won't let them in. You gotta, they got to get me to the gate. Oh, and no. then I can leave. And so we get there, and uh, it's like maybe a mile and a half to the front gate. And so uh, we're going to run all that way, or there's these like little golf carts. And so he just like walks up to these golf carts, puts me in there. But the golf carts are owned by, like, the, the owners, mm -hmm. right? So, like, the people that are running the rigs. So you're not even supposed to look at these things. And so now somebody just, like, hauls off in one of the bosses. With a blood trail. With yeah. a blood trail going down. But with a bloody child, which is not a good thing you want. You yeah, know yeah. I mean? 18 years old, by the way, right now. And um, so, yeah, he hauls ass. Uh, and we get up to the front, and they, they were warned. Uh, security was like, hey, somebody just stole a go-kart. <laughs> <laughs> And so they're chasing us down. They get to the front gate. There's the sirens are coming this way. Sirens are coming this way. And I'm losing a lot of blood. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck it. This is wild, dude. I'm looking around like, I don't know what's going to happen. And so I start getting like a little fuzzy and it starts hurting. And then I remember it starts getting hurting. to the gate, getting to the gate, getting in the ambulance. And then the ambulance got there and they're like, you're not exactly an outpatient. We don't have to like strap you down mm -hmm. and roll you in there. Just we're going to drop you off at the exit. Uh, or at the entrance, and just walk in and tell them that you need a bed or that you need to be entered into the ER. And I was like, cool. And so I walked in, but I'm still, like, you know, kind of fuzzy, mm -hmm. obviously, shock or whatever. And so the lady goes, uh, I go, hey, I need, to, I need to go in. And she was like, okay, well, here's a fucking clipboard. <laughs> Fill it out. Come back and see me. And so I'm sitting over there with, you know, my fucking bloody-ass hand, and I'm filling this shit out. And then one of the paramedics comes in, and he's like, hey, are you not, they're not seeing you yet? I'm like, no, no, no. She told me to fill this out. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, dude, what the fuck? He was like, lady, he doesn't have a finger. And she's like, oh, shit, he didn't tell me that. And he was like, you didn't tell her? And I was like, I don't know where. <laughs> 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 and so they dragged me back there. And then they start asking me all these dumb questions. Like, uh, I don't know if they were like trying to get, I mean, obviously trying to get information out of me. But they were like, uh, hey, what's, how do you feel? And they would show me smiley faces. Yeah. And it was like the most pissed off one. Like, <laughs> that one. That one. That one. <laughs> that one. Mad, mad, mad. And then they gave me a morphine drip. Yeah. That makes everything better. And they gave me a button. Uh -huh. And they were like, anytime you feel pain, click it. So I start talking to this lady. And then, she, yeah, obviously. And she looks at me. And she's like, Mr. Stanfield, you can stop clicking it. And I was like, 
oh shit and the bag's like fucking sucking dry <laughs> and they were like we need to figure out who you are and where you came from <laughs> <laughs> you're like me fucking too brother this shit's good I'm going to sleep lady yeah. <laughs> I don't like this day I don't wake up and I wake up and so the only person I was 18 years old so I was an idiot and so the only person I put as my emergency contact was my best friend <laughs> Which is Ben Gonzalez, yeah. and he's my best friend at the time, still my best friend today. And, um, and so he gets to the hospital, and he's got to make these, like, decisions for me. Mm-hmm. So they, like, had the pinky, and Pull they were the like... Plug. They were like, yeah, exactly, that kind <laughs> of fucking shit. But they had the pinky, and they were like, we got two options. We can either bob it off, or we can try to put it back on. Yeah. And he was like, w- they were like, what do you think he would want? He was like, wait till he wakes up. And they're like, no, 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 this finger's not going to be alive yeah. much longer. Put that shit back on. You got to put... The- and so we... Oh, I guess. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but now I've got a fucking fucked up pinky when I yeah, used to be imagine- like no. the nine fingered man from Florence, Texas or some bullshit. <laughs> now I'm the guy from Florence, Texas who has an ugly goose. No, you're the nine and a half fingered man from Florence, Texas. That's and pretty, that's cool, pretty dude. cool. You that said it, cool. not me. Ugh. Nobody's got. That's going to be my album cover. <laughs> yeah, of course. It, sh- it should just be the pinky. Just you know me and the pinky. You know what is that big black guy from the pandemic? With a huge dick, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sent to everybody have that, but instead of his dick, it's your pinky. <laughs> oh, that's fucking amazing. <laughs> that's your album cover, dude. Oh god, dang it, Mike. <laughs> the nine and a half inch man. Me and you need to hang Florence, out way Texas. more, dude. <laughs> yeah. The last two times we've hung out, we've made come up with the best, fucking, yeah. the best shit ever. That nah, we'll talk about it later, dude. Wow. Also, that was a quick story. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Talking shit over here about. <laughs> no, it's a great story. I'll show sure you how I to love do a about, quick story. Yeah, here's what I love about Maverick and I's friendship is because mm-hmm. he is. Like, we were, like, fucking two peas in a pod. Oh, exactly yeah. Exactly the same. But this whole weekend, we were going around. leather pod. Yeah. 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 And so we're going around this weekend, and he's, like, talking to everybody and taking way too long to leave places. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, Maverick. Like, we, we're supposed to leave an hour ago, and you're still politicking with people. Yeah. And then I think about it, I'm like, man, that's what all my friends say about me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude. That's fucking bullshit. Dude. We went to this uh, concert last night in uh-huh. San Marcos. My, my buddy was playing there, and... uh uh-huh. Braxton, and Braxton Show Keith, yeah, okay. he's, Braxton, he's a very, he's a really very talented, and uh, Tristan Mraz too. Okay, so um, Jason's son. Yeah, yeah. Do you know Jason's son? Yeah. Debbie from Bible study. Yeah. That's her. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but no, we were there, and the people were like, "Are y'all brothers?" Like to me and him, we're like, "No, dude. What the fuck?" But essentially. Yeah, essentially. He man. said no. I said yes, and it was awkward. Yeah, it was yeah. very awkward. <laughs> I almost got into a fight. It was fun, dude. It was a good time, man. <laughs> he did almost get into a fight. <laughs> it was fucking funny. With the guy I was playing pool with, I was like, "Hey, man, fucking be cool." Dude, that dude was a dick. Fuck that dude. All right. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Hey, where do we find you guys online? Oh, you can find me at Dina Stanfield on Instagram. Uh, you can also look out for my upcoming. Dina. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dean A. Stanfield. Dina I Stanfield, always think man. that. I think that's Dina. Too. I was worried that people would, but they wouldn't let me fit Dean Allen Stanfield on there. It's too many letters. And yeah. so I was like, fuck. That's, dude, it sounds like. I'm go uh, Dean A. Stanfield. Like, Dean Allen Stanfield sounds like the first cop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The first cop? Are you like. Oh, Mike, you gotta watch your mouth. Or a snitch. The, 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 cons- that Texas the constable shit of Florence, trying to like Texas. wow me up so like, like tackle you on the podcast. The first I time still... anybody has ever tackled Mike Eaton is when If I have enough No, the first time Mike gets tackled is gonna be me. Fuck yeah, dude. The, I can fight, fight right now, right on camera, dude. It's it, it would be a fight. Neither to see of you is gonna tackle me. I'm gonna fucking a Heisman your ass. Nah, hey, dude. I'm hey, first one to him. Footballer. First one to him. Flying knee. Dude, yeah. What do you do? What's the move? I'm closer. <laughs> oh man! Oh, that was that was so fucking funny. Uh, oh. So did you say so where can Dina you find Stanfield? Me? I got a YouTube coming out uh, uh-huh. with a well called uh, with a show called Welcome to Texas. Oh and great! That's where I get uh, where I get stand up comedians from around the country to come to Texas to do Texas shit. And the first episode is bull riding. And oh, so I got man. I got ten comedians to uh, get on bulls. Uh, they got two weeks of practice, and then. Uh, uh, their own personal cowboys to teach them how to do it, and then we uh, we let them loose. And so uh, they get on like real two thousand pound uh, bucking wow. bulls, and it's wild. It's a lot of fun. So nice. you can check that out. It's gonna be uh, dropping on my Instagram as well. Yeah, he. On uh, Wednesday. Well, I was at his I was at his house the other day, and he like showed me it. He like showed me the preview of it, and yeah. dude, it is like from somebody from the rodeo world. Uh-huh. It's fucking hilarious, dude. Oh, like it's yeah. unfu. Like I'm like they fucking and dude. It was it. You definitely have to check it out if you know if you're interested in that type of stuff. It's are you guys awesome. gonna start like is a it like pearl a collar sequel? comedy tour or something? A pearl, should, dude, pearl snap comedy. Is it like a comedy, sequel dude. to the one you already did? Oh, what are you talking about? Huh? Is it like a sequel to the one you already did, or is that no? It's the, the one I already did. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we've, we Sam did all of that. It's so yeah. Arms, Sam yeah. broke because I feel like there were yeah. two. Oh shoot, we can't. You had like two premieres for like, it, right? I, like I'm like releasing something. Yeah. Yeah. Don't save it for the save special. It. What the fuck is wrong? You had like two <laughs> premieres for control. it, right? Huh? 
I, you had like two premieres the premieres for it, for it like, at uh, so Creek. we did we yeah, premiered yeah. it twice at the Creek and we got really good responses and then we were holding out for like a TV show to get it and that was a wild expectation because only the people at the Creek and the Cave saw it so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah but you should head up I still it, Rebel Reed TV or something yeah what yeah, are you yeah. putting it up Hit up I want to watch it. Yeah, yeah, so it's going to be, uh, I'll let you guys, I'll, I'll send you the link uh, yeah. to when it's going to be live. Um, but it'll be, I think we're going to release it on Monday. Perfect. Nice. I think yeah. I think that Monday's our release date, so in two days. Excellent. So. And uh, where do we find you? Uh, just Maverick McWilliams on everything. Uh, mostly Instagram and TikTok is what I do. And then Hell that, yeah. that's about it. Yeah, so. What do you do on TikTok? Do you teach men how to be men? I do, I do uh, you know what's funny? I do leather work, like videos. Uh-huh. And then also I just like, I mean, as like a comic, you just have like a funny thought, right? And I just fucking throw it on there, and it, nice. and it does pretty well. I, it's it's yeah. going pretty good. Hell yeah, man! Awesome. Yeah. So right. just, uh, like Maverick McWilliams on everything, and just yeah, you, know. you can spell that one real easy. Yeah, dude. yeah. It's like Dina Stanfield. Yeah, it's like Maverick. Dina Stanfield. Dina Stanfield. Maverick, Maverick McWilliams. Hey, it's easier to remember. You're gonna remember Dina Stanfield. Dude, people yeah, think dude. we're dating or something, man. Shut up. Like, nobody, nobody thought that. Nobody thought. People that. fucking think that. Nobody sometimes. said. Somebody might think you're trying to say that, dude. Nobody said. that. Dude, you got a girl haircut. Dude, back of who are you talking to? I'm talking to you right now, motherfucker. Not, dude. I'll come over and smack shit out of you. Hold on. What's fucking? Well, thank that you guys for joining us. <laughs> thank you. Uh, Me and Maverick just punch Maverick yeah, and face. Dina are going to go fuck. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Wait, no, we're not. No, I yeah, no, no, no. Maybe. 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 Hey, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Cutest red.